Hi guys, it's time for another game of Terra Mystica. Let's play another game against human opponents. So I'm on the BGA website again, and I've just set up my table. Let's open it up to other players and see who joins. I'll get back to you when the, the table's full. Okay, we've got a full table now, so let's get the game started. And we've got a mix of opponents. We've got strong players, good players, and an apprentice. And again, I'm the last player to choose my faction. It seems to be happening time and time again. Okay, so I've got plenty of time to think about it. Anyway, um, we're missing two coins from the bonus cards, the dwelling bonus card, uh, dwelling scoring bonus card with two coins is missing, and the priest is missing, the priest bonus card is missing, so perhaps the um, cults might be stronger in this game. There's lots of workers, yeah, just two coins missing, so it's not really a low coin game at all, just the priest missing, so maybe a little bit worse for the darklings, or um, it might make the cults more valuable in this game. So witches have been chosen in first. Um, let's have a look at the round scoring. So first round dig. And we're getting um, the earth cults going to be very important in the first round. Second round trading post. Third round dw uh, dwelling. Fourth round trading post. Fifth round sanctuary stronghold. And the last round is forming towns. Okay, so we have which is chosen, that's green. Um, an advantage of going in last place is obviously I get more time to think about it and um, I will get the bonus, I will choose the bonus card first. So I can get the dig bonus card. Obviously it's a dig scoring in round one. So the dig bonus card's gonna be good. We've had Fakir's chosen, that's interesting. Okay, so that mixes things up a bit. So we've got yellow and green so far. Yellow and green are opposite colors. So it's possible that uh, this guy will go black. I'm thinking he's gone for cultists. I was thinking of, uh, oh no, his, the Fakirs have changed to cultists. He's, he didn't actually choose the Fakirs. He was just looking at the Fakirs. Hadn't actually confirmed it yet. So I was thinking of cultists for the progress up the earth cult. He's actually chosen cultists. Cultists start with one step on the earth cult, one step on the fire cult you can see on the game board. I move it up a bit, you'll see here on the cultist game board. One step on the fire, one step on the earth. Okay, darklings have been chosen, which are neighbors to the cultists, which is good. Okay, so again, me in last place. I can't choose engineers because we can't play engineers with witches. Um, Okay, so we have green, green, black, and brown chosen. So red is the obvious color that doesn't have a neighbor. Can't go engineers because that's neighbors to witches and that's pretty much deadly. So I think it's gonna have to be chaos magicians and we'll see how we get on with the chaos magicians. Um, Let's just see, Chaos Magicians starts with, yeah, two on the Fire Cult, which doesn't give me much bonus in the, yeah, Chaos Magicians. Okay, let's just see what else is available. No, it's not great. Not great. Red gives me no neighbor. If I was to go for blue, <laughs> I'm sandwiched. If I go for yellow, not too bad. Yellow, let's just check. Yellow, yeah, yellow, I get a, um, a step up the earth cult and a step up the fire cult, which is the same as the cultists. So it might be worth taking the nomads. 
And I don't have to worry too much about neighbors with the nomads because I'll have the terraform action. So we could do that. We'll open with a temple. So I can still get the dig. Yeah, I can go for the nomads and see how we got on with those. Okay. Now I'm not uh, particularly good at playing the nomads. My favorite factions really are darklings and engineers. I can't take the engineers in this game because you play engineers with witches, you're, you're finished. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. We have a triple here, so Darklings may join here, but I think this is a good spot to go. We're gonna get a lot of leech here. And I'm just placing another dwelling. So anticipate where, uh, maybe up here, maybe down here, over here. I think it's safe to go here for the time being. And my third dwelling will be a tougher placement, to be honest. If we leave Darklings, sort of, yeah, Darklings placements are very strange, but obviously it's a low rank player. Ooh, cultists going next to the Darklings. Interesting. And will witches join them over there? In which case, I might stick a dwelling over on that eastern continent. Because I'm confident that I can build a town coming down here and join up my network. Yes, so if I go here, I can get some neighbors to form a town over here, but anywhere else I'm not really going to be. Perhaps here, yep, I'm going to go here because I know I'm going to get a neighbor. Okay, bonus card, we have to go for the dig. And I think it would be good to dig here so I've got a neighbor for this town. Some stage I could get the shipping and build over here. This is going to be a double dig, so it's not ideal. But uh, I've got to bring my network together. So we can have a town somewhere over here. That's not too difficult for my. Uh, terraform action that I'll have once I've built my stronghold. I'll build the stronghold once I've got the stronghold bonus card or whenever. Um, and this town, I'll be lucky to get this spot here. So I might have to build it down here and bridge over or bridge over to here. And then this one, I can bring it down here, but maybe uh, also get this brown spot. Cultists are going to have trouble joining their network. Darklings are obviously going to have trouble building their network. So witches look good at the moment. If cultists take the blue spot, which I think they probably will, I think witches will still be okay to build a town up here. Witches are a good high ranked player, so they also know what they're doing.
okay, this guy is taking ages. Okay, witches could be going for their stronghold straight away. Okay, so cultists are moving up on the Earth cult, unsurprisingly. That's a good start for the cultists, except their network joining in. They might get the double dig here, uh, but that's been taken by the Darklings. We'll cut them off. Okay, so that's going to force cultists across here to provide a neighbor for me. All right, so I'm going to work on getting the Earth one. Dig power action hasn't been taken yet, but I'm quite concerned about the number of coins I have. So the coin power action is also quite useful, I think. Darklings will be missing out on Leech. Okay, second Earth one taken. Darklings um, are going to be, yeah, I'm missing out on Leech. But uh, I'm not worried about Darklings in this game. They're already pretty much out of it. Witches are strong. They've opened with, uh, maybe they're going to open with a Sanctuary. Otherwise, why take the, uh, maybe not, maybe they're going to do some digging with a, okay, so double dig's been taken by the cultists, I don't mind that too much. So the single dig is still available to me. And I have the dig on my bonus card. So I'm thinking of uh, getting Earth One before I take any digs. Now the witches are likely to take the single dig if I don't take it. Um, so should I take the single dig now before the witches get it? Yeah, because I'm going to send them power if I. Uh, get my temple now. I can still get a one or can I? Darkling might get the temple. Darkling might get the temple, but I'm going to take the dig first and risk missing out on earth one. Actually, no, I'm going to get earth one first. So just put those conversions back. That game's ruined before by missing out on that. So we'll get that first because I can always get the coins. Power action. I don't need to be digging like crazy. Or maybe better still, I should get the priest and stick it into the three spot on the Earth Cult. The witches pass out of the round very early. That's surprising. Maybe they wanted the coins, but I don't understand that. Um, finishing the round with a temple and one dwelling. OK, this is good. This is good. I'm liking it. That means I can get the priest and a single dig. Unless the Darklings take the Priest, which is quite possible now. But they really do need their temple, the Darklings.
Darkling's really got no power, no leech in this game so far. Okay, Darkling's get the temple, so it was good that I did get my temple, although not necessarily would Darkling get Earth 1, but I think we can assume that they probably would. Okay, so first round shaping up pretty good. Cultists still could take the single dig. But I value the priest above the single dig to get the three spot in the earth cult. So they took fire one to get coins, three coins per round. So let's take the Priest. I've got the priest now, so I can stick that into without any competition, get the three spots on the earth cult, which will also get me some power too. Okay, so uh, yeah, give me some power. And I can get this red spot, which just seem to have some kind of plan. Why did they get out of the round so early? I assume they know what they're doing because their ranking is high. Okay, so I've put the priest in first. I can still, I think cultists will probably take the single dig. Or should I take that rather than, yeah, maybe I can take the single dig. That will leave me with four, five, six, seven. Yeah, pl still plenty of power. So if I take the single dig and dig here, let's check it as single dig, yeah. And we'll be dwelling on there. So I'm going to finish the round with the temple and four dwellings. And um, a priest on step, step five. So that's an extra five coins. That's pretty good, pretty good start. I'm looking forward to seeing what witches have got in store for the next round. I'm wondering if they were planning to double dig this red spot. But I will have that before the next round anyway, so. And we'll see what bonus card is available to me. Could be the three power and one worker. Darklings may well grab that there. Okay, Darklings passed out the round. So Darklings just making up their mind. Um, of course, I can get the Darkling. Yeah, they've taken that. So the four coins and one cult step is available too. So I'm going to stick my priest into the three spot here in the earth to pick up the coins. Don't use conversions. And then I can take my dig, dig the red spot here, and build a dwelling on there. So to finish the round with a temple and four dwellings, I think it's good. So my worker income, one, two, three, four, five. And my coin income, I have five, and I have an income of five from the cult bonus. And I can choose to get the free power. I have no power income. Next round, we're building trading posts. So that's pretty good. Um, so maybe I'm best to go for the coins four coins and one, rather than the trading post scoring. It's too early to get the trading post scoring tile, I think, because I'm not going to be getting that many trading posts. But I might be able to get my uh, stronghold out. 
Fellows Cup. Okay, so that gives me 14 coins and five workers. Okay, double dig taken by the witches. And the cultists are fairly good start. Um, the temple and three dwellings, that's a fairly standard good start, but joining their network looks to be very tough for them. In fact, cultists are pretty much not going to join the network. Now the fire cult is something I might want to make some progress in because there's a couple of rounds, round three and round five with fire cult bonuses. I have a priest. I could upgrade my shipping or I could put the priest into that fire cult. Okay, other people have priests. So these three spots are going to be taken. So yeah, let's do that and get a bit of power while we're at it. Get to step four. That guarantees me that guarantees me um, cult bonuses at the end of round three and five. So I'll get four power at the end of round three. And at the end of round five, I'm gonna get two workers. Digs all been taken. So which is really working on their digs. They're going for loads of dwellings this round, but the next round is really the dwelling round. I can build two trading posts. So I do need to work on coin income. So trading posts is a couple of trading posts is good for that. And then get my um, stronghold later in the game. But I don't want to wait too long for the stronghold. So ideally I'm going to take the darklings um, Darkling's bonus card. Now, are they planning to build their sanctuary? Perhaps, but they'd have to convert a priest, which they've not done. So they're not going to be able to build their sanctuary. So why they need that sanctuary stronghold uh, bonus card, I don't know. Anyway, one, do witches need some leech? Oh, I'll give them two leech now, or two leech here, both the same. So. Let's put down one of these. Next one will be a trading post here. Another dwelling going down for the witches. I can let my power build up into goal three as much as possible. And then if I can get the uh, stronghold next go, And I'll be able to, yeah, maybe get a bit more shipping next go. That will help me get uh, so the shipping bonus card as well. That would help. And perhaps a double dig over here would be useful. And then stronghold and do something with that. This green as well. This green is risky. Green is a triple dig. This one is a double dig here. Um, I don't think it's going to be taken by Darklings. Darklings are going to go for the brown one and this one. I would like the brown one, the brown hex, because doing a double dig across here, obviously I'm going to do that with uh, power. I can't do that with my, my uh, stronghold terraform action. Darklings can't really do much now, apart from build a trading post, uh, an expensive trading post over here, which then cost them six coins. So I don't think we're going to need to worry about darklings in this game. So 
So, so far, my score seems to be okay. I'm Progress up the cults, pretty good as well. Now, cultists, oh, Darklings go for the second, which is okay because they, they've gone for the second temple. What will they take? Okay, in the end, he's gone for water too, by the look of it. Yes. Okay, so he's pretty much given up, I think. Just thinking, I will go for scoring in the cults. So I'm happy with a start. As I say, I'm not a great nomad player. I usually get 128 points when I play nomads. So witches ha now have a trading post. Okay, so there's not really anything else I can do. So my income, three workers. So I'm going to have four workers. Ah, I've got some leech there. Good. I need some of that because we do need a dig. I would like to build my stronghold. That might be better. Take the take the coins and build stronghold or single dig. I can upgrade shipping. If I take the coins, I can upgrade shipping. But if I did upgrade shipping, there's nothing nowhere really I want to go. Um, okay, so now. Oh, I've still got my cult step. I'll take that. It gets you an extra two power. Power is very important in this, at this stage of the game. But we have a dig here, and a dig will get me an extra dwelling in the next round, which is the dwelling round. Definitely get me an extra dwelling. So I think we'll go for the dig bonus card to get the cult step. I'm not too worried about the cult steps. So we'll get that. And go for the dig. That's a definite uh, dwelling earned. And with my power in color two, I can take the coins or I could take, uh, wait a minute, if I want the, yeah, I'm gonna be a bit low on workers. Coins, I'm gonna have probably plenty of coins actually. Coins I will have, Two, six, yeah, I'm gonna have plenty of coins. I might take two workers and then I can yeah, build two dwellings. That sounds good. I could even upgrade my shipping first, build the stronghold, and then two dwellings. If I did that, I would be very pleased. because I'm so used to having to take the coin power action whenever I can. Um, take, think, thinking about taking the worker power action is kind of like second, not second nature, not natural for me, you know? The coin power action is second nature. But I, I have two trading posts, so my coin income is not terrible. Just with four workers, if I want to build my stronghold, I won't be able to build the two dwellings. So getting the two worker power action will get me the resources I need to upgrade shipping, um, build my stronghold, do the terraform action, and um, okay, and build two dwellings with, with my uh, dig bonus here. So let's get the two workers. I definitely need that done. Two worker power action. 15 coins, so I'm not short of coins at all. So that's 615 now. So my economy is looking good. So, so far, so good. I'm pleased with the progress. Witches have five eight. So obviously I'm beating witches. Okay, the nomads moving very quickly across.
But uh, to join my network up, I don't need to come down here. I can always get this spot and get a three hex town here and then jump over to here to join my network. So network joining is not too much of a problem at the moment. Um, that means if I upgrade shipping, I can also put a dwelling down here not worrying that the towns are going to be joined or anything like that so um next thing we need to get is the stronghold quite expensive but i needed it okay so i'm going to be a coin short if i upgrade my shipping yeah i still need more coins coins have just been taken coin um power action not that I could have got that anyway I can still get a coin or by burning a power so I can build two dwellings And cultists are going to rush to get this spot. I might get it before them. So let's do my uh, action here. Confirm this is the. Okay. And next, if, well, obviously not this go, but next go, I think cultists will probably want to get this they may get it uh, they're not going to get it this go so if i get that i'm completely blocking the cultists in it's not necessarily that i do it i can always get a sanctuary in the i do need to build a sanctuary but the best place for me to build a sanctuary would be here so cultists are obviously very keen on uh, building on here their power situation looks pretty bad at the moment but we'll accept their there's no dig bonuses at the end of this round so i'm in a stronger position to get this this blue spot which would ruin the cult cultists for their network the cultists joining the network is very tough anyway my power income is three at the moment Okay, so I can use my I still have a priest. I will keep that single dig. And we're gonna go here with a single dig. Nowhere else that's particularly good. Let's confirm that. Get another dwelling down. So 37 points looking good. Another two leech, which means I'm going to be able to pass out of this round before the cultists. Now the trading post scoring tile looks good with three coins on, so that's obviously the one to go for. Next round, we're building trading posts anyway, so that will be excellent. I would like the cultists to take this blue spot, which would allow me to build one or two trading posts over here. And I'm going to take this obviously first. Unless cultists can't do the double dig. But I'm sure they will maybe, maybe even dig it with workers. my coin income of two plus the three on here is five so i will be low on coins if i uh, do this power of three one two three so i could take the that uh, action, the coin power action. Mm. 
Yeah, maybe I should take the coin power action and uh, see if the cultists do take this blue spot. Because I can always come over here, but obviously the, uh, there's no way the dark are going to join their network anyway. And witches could be wanting to take this in a rush. So, okay, we'll pass out of the round. And get this. Cultists pass out of the round. So I'm going to have eight, yeah, just eight coins. But will I be able to take the coin power action? Will cultists be able to take a double dig? They may be able to use the workers to do it. Do, and I could do shipping, come over here and do this. That might be a wise move. Get the coins, increase shipping, trading post here, I'm sorry, uh, dwelling here, dwelling here, and then work on my trading posts. Now, I don't think witches are going to be in too much of a rush to come over here. They have no shipping as well, so. Okay, so I've got six power. Not sure how I got that. Um, I do need the coins, so I'm going to give the cultists a chance. Very expensive for them to. Very expensive for them to uh, use workers here. If they use workers, I think they're pretty much out of the game anyway. Six workers to transform that. Good. Okay, I'm going to upgrade shipping first. Darklings formed the first town. My economy 615 is superior to the others at the moment. Now, this cannot still be a four hex town by going here, so I don't need that. By going here, I'm just causing uh, the cultists just as much problems. Because joining their network looks really, really difficult. So shipping upgrade next, two dwellings and two trading posts and a bridge if I can get it. Okay, so we've got an option to get something else here. Um, the two workers, I know that's some power, I don't want to burn another two power. I might need to take the double dig in the future. So I'm going to upgrade my shipping first. And we can come here. And let's just check the witches shipping is still on zero. So there's no risk of them grabbing this spot. And they don't have their, or well, their coin situation is looking awful. But their point situation is pretty good.
And they're burning power for coins by the look of it. Well, that's what I'm guessing they're going to do. Now, I don't need to take this green spot yet. Because if I don't get the green spot, I can get this blue spot. But I could get the double dig and come over here. Now I have shifting. Or I can join my network and come here with the extra priest. But that's going to limit the number of the stuff I could build. So, yeah, because I can always get um, my sanctuary here and join my network and have a four hex town here. And at the end of the game, build a four hex town over here. So, that's okay. Maybe I'm better getting the blue spot, blue hex. I don't mind so much the uh, cultists coming here. They're only giving me a, give me a power by going there. And I can get to uh, four hex town. Cultists don't do the dig. They may do it. They may do it next go. If I put a priest down, then I get. A couple of power which will mean I don't need to burn power if I want to get the bridge this turn, but I don't need to get the bridge this turn. Um, I've got enough resources for one more dwelling and two trading posts. The two trading posts, which the location is uh, difficult, that's all. If I use my terraform action to go here, it's slightly difficult. Um, I need a neighbor basically. And I don't have one for the second trading post. If I go here, I can build two, but three, four, five, six, it'll already be, I'll already finish the town, so I kind of be wasting one. Um, but finishing the town is obviously a benefit now. I'm likely to get one of these two to finish this town. So I could go here, then I can easily build two, but I don't want to do that actually. I still want to stick to the there. Okay, so here, this is going to say to the cultists, don't bother coming across here, because if I get this one, they could still potentially join up their network. Now they're up at the green one and the green, they've got to come all the way up here, which is very tough. So I get the blue one here, but in this, cancel, maybe using this. I hit the wrong key and got that. So all I need now is the bridge and I'll, that town will be well on its way. If I do with a neighbor, which is passed out the round very early. They've gone for the uh, Sanctuary Stronghold bonus there. Okay, potentially a double dig going on here, but why would they double dig this? Okay, they've gone for the... Yeah, I think they're gonna give up on that because it's going to complete the town anyway. They're probably waiting for the last go to complete that town. I 
I don't have enough coins to build the two trading posts that I want in the locations that I want. I build one, that's for sure. Um, I could burn power to do it, which is what I might well end up doing. Yes, two power. And I burn power, but I convert power to coins. Now, is there any benefit with me putting the priest down in the cults? Probably. In the fire cult, yeah, it's going to get me an extra worker at the end of round five. And I've got a better chance of scoring in this fire cult. And two power now. Okay, cultists complete their town. So they've given up on the network, which I don't blame them. It's pointless for them to try and join that up their network now. Which is, if you don't take it, if you don't take it, I don't trust. Oh, I just, I'm just reading the chat. If you don't take it, I don't. I'm not sure what uh, witches mean by that. If you don't take it, I won't. Maybe that's what he's saying. He's writing again now, see what he's talking about. If you don't take it, I... I'm not paying attention. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay. Let's put... I could get the bridge now, so that might be the best way to go. But first of all, we will get the... Do not use. Okay, so I, if I try to build the trading post, I can't build the bridge. Because the trading post is so expensive. How many trading posts do I have? Only two. So a, another trading post would be very useful. So I don't need to get the bridge yet. Still plenty of time to work on that. So convert two power to coins and I'm getting five points for it. So it is worth doing that. Later on here, I'm likely to get a neighbor. Okay, so here's the best spot, I think. I might get a green neighbor over here, but I doubt it. Or black over here, so. So three trading posts on the board, that gives me seven, seven coin income. I'll have five power income, worker income, five. I can still get the bridge now. Ah, oh, now I've got a neighbor. Yeah. Okay, now we're getting some power, enough power to get the bridge. Okay, so we could do that, then we can get the cultists, uh, possibly get, I don't think we're going to get the cultists uh, card, so the dig one will go next. But anyway, let's get the bridge while I've got the power in, in that uh, situation, or should I wait for the coins next round? No, they're going to get taken. There we are, so I've got the bridge. And next round we want to be building a sanctuary and the sanctuary has got to go here so we're going to need a lot of resources to do that we're going to need uh six workers and uh i'm going to have should have enough maybe not even have enough coins um have done my terraform yep what else is left to do nothing coins are going to be low then coins are going to be low I don't need the sanctuary next round to do it. I can always build the sanctuary here and terraform one of these. So that's okay. The dig would be useful. I can do here. And I get two extra coins. My coin income of seven will be boosted by that. So let's do that. 
six points for that. So I'm up to 50. I'm trailing the cultists at the moment. Um, power income, three, five, three, four, five. Yeah, I go for the dig with two coins. All the shipping. I think it's shipping I've got up there. No, situation is, ah, oh, took the wrong one. Never mind. It's not what I wanted to do, but I think I'll still be okay. Yeah, I'm not sure I've been able to use that. Uh, if I'm going to be building the sanctuary, that's going to take up a lot of my resources anyway. And building another trading post will be just as good. So power income, maybe I've got a bit too much power now. Five, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, power, three, six. Yeah, that's going to be good. I don't think I've ever managed to get the coins, but the coins would be very useful. Okay, so coins, I want eight. Witches are going to take the coins, surely. Yes, but my situation is okay. Sanctuary, I complete this town. Should I take anything else? I don't think so. Because I need the power for the coins. Sanctuary is going to cost me six coins. Complete the town. Let's just think what I'm going to get from it. Um, Cult steps, I think. Oh, wait a minute. If I do that, I need to do conversions beforehand because cult steps, the eight points with one step up each cult is going to get me two power. And I have, say, let's convert one of these to a coin so that I can at least receive that power and get the sanctuary. Actually, it's going to be more than two power, isn't it? So I can still do a conversion because I'm going to have to get a favor tile as well. So let's do conversions. What favor tile am I going to take? I could take the one air, one air to get points for my trading posts. Anyway, let's get the town. One air will get me points for my trading posts that I have already built. Do not use, no, I'm happy with that. So, Okay, shipping needs to be upgraded. Um, and I need to hold out for a, got to use my terraform action. I've got a shipping level of one. I need a shipping level of two. Terraform action will be next in the loop dwelling. Or should I? Get the last spot in the air cult, another one power. No, I'll get a spot in the, yeah, I've got a, a better chance of winning the earth cult. Or I could just upgrade the shipping now. Get two workers. Upgrade shipping. Oh, 
got to, I don't need to upgrade the shipping now. I can put a dwelling down here, get the two workers, and then I can put a dwelling down here as well. Okay, I'm going to go for the two workers because I've got the extra shipping already. And then I can use one of those power for the uh, extra coin to build two dwellings or Now the third town is going to be a problem, but I can do that with six structures potentially. Six power structures. So by the end of this go, I'll be on four. So I need two more. That's not tough. And one over here. And an upgrade, a shipping upgrade. So I do need to get coins to complete that. The other option is to not bother with the dwelling here. Oh yes, I do need the two shipping. So going here, use my terraform over here would be better. And I also need a yeah, I'm gonna need a temple next go as well. So it's tough. So perhaps getting um, doing the terraform without building a dwelling and building a, another trading post here. So dwelling here, trading post, and terraform this to yellow. That will give me a bit, a bit more of a coin income going into the last round. There's two of each. We have to accept that because we need everything we can get now. Okay, which is only on 36 points, but they've got a lot of resources. Another three, do I need to take that? No, decline that. Cultists are going to soon let their bonus card go. So I'm going to get the trading post first to make sure I've got that. But that would just leave me three dwellings on the board. So I do need to get that extra dwelling down, I think. And of course, there's the last space in the air cult. I'm not going to fight over that. We're talking as the earth cult, I think, is more worth fighting over. Okay, thinking about longest network, the witches have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at the moment, but I will have ten by the end of this go. Structures. 
Okay, finally, it's come around to my turn again. I'll stick with dwelling down first. Yes, because then witches can't take any leech anyway. And a trading post. Ooh. I'm going to need to have a trading post, so I might as well get it now. It does mean me burning power. I only need to have four power. So that's okay. I will have, I'll, I'll still have five power tokens. Come on, cultists, what are you going to do? Pass. Okay. So will witches take it? See, I've still got a bit to do in this round. I do want to build the trading post. Okay, three. One, two, three, decline. Decline didn't help me. One, two, three, yeah, I need a bit burn one power. Um, well, what power income do I have? Four, five, six, two, four, five, six, decline. I still haven't done my uh, terraform action as well, so maybe I should not get the last town. And go for the points here in, the, in, in this. Alternatively, I could do my terraform action and just build a dwelling. Change a worker to, yeah, maybe do that. Terraform action on this blue spot. We'll do the terraform action. I build a dwelling. Okay, well, which is take the bonus card? I don't mind if which is take it because that would just leave the other one free. I'm getting the okay, which is a form the town. Which is good for them. I will 
cultists accept all that leech. I have six leech. So my third town over here is a power of four at the moment. And my shipping really is only one. Calling income is too weak. Oh, good, we've got a neighbor. That's going to help. But not much. So I really need coins. What's the cultists? Yeah, cultists are probably going to take the coins. That's the problem. Five, one, two, three, four, five. I could get that. My best to get the bonus card going into the last round. Okay, so I've got a bonus card going into the last round. So that means I'm going to get eight points out of that. Five power income, one, two, three, four, five. Don't need to accept that leech. My network, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Don't think I can beat the witches here with a network. I also need a temple, so I do need coins. I don't need a temple. I don't have to do three towns. Yeah, because the terraform is going to have to go here. So the final one, brown is gone. So this town's pretty much out the window now. It's just about being a network, really. So I need to upgrade my shipping. So will the cultists take the coins? They almost certainly will. Watch the cultists take the coins. Cultists took the coins. All right, so let's take the very good town tile. Hmm. I can always get a bridge over here to finish the town. Yeah, I need a double dig. And I need a bridge. Who else wants a bridge? Witches could take the bridge. But they will to try and do that. Anyway, let's finish the town. I've got to do a terraform here. So we'll do that. And 
and get the best town tile. Now let's see if witches take the bridge. I can go here for the dwelling. I still need to upgrade my shipping. So I'll keep, oh, I can do a double dig. I get that, yeah, do a double dig. Double dig is still available. Might be able to do it because then I can get the coins. Bridge is gone. So double dig and then a fire two and get the coins and upgrade the shipping. So it's all about the double dig. Darklings aren't going to take it, cultists aren't going to take it. Okay, so double dig time. And then a trading post. I need to get fire too, so temple trading post. Temple with fire two. I think I can do it and then upgrade the get whichever town tile gives me the resources to upgrade my shipping. Then I can do it. Okay, witches are going to score a lot of points in this round if they can finish two towns. But I'm finishing two towns, but witches will have an extra 10 points and they will get the network. But they, start, they started up a little bit behind. Okay, so now I need to get the fire two with a temple which means I need to convert some workers. There have to be two workers. That leaves me enough to build another trading post. And then whichever, whatever I can get, yeah, I should be able to get uh, this, or oh, need to get the coins. Should be okay. I have two. So I'm after the coins or the power. power. Power might be better, actually. Yeah, the power. And then I've got two priests. So I could put the priests in first. Who else is going to form a town very soon? Nobody's going to form one in the next couple of goes. So I could get the one priest into the Cult tracks. That's going to get me two power, which you know, doing all this might allow me to get one more dwelling down. If I could possibly finish the cult, okay. So. Mm. 
potentially I can finish this cult, leave myself with one priest, get either the power or the coins, and then use the last priest to upgrade. Um, I don't think I need to accept that. Oh dear, that's very tough. Yes, I can burn one. I'll accept it. That just keeps me with one worker. Then I have the option to maybe build another dwelling. And that dwelling will certainly get me my um, point back. And now I can finish the cult. If, yeah, I can finish it. So I've won a cult. Okay, let's get that cult. Good, 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 good. Now that's three, three coins basically. So that means I don't need to convert workers. Maybe I shouldn't have accepted that leech. Never mind, I can get maybe two dwellings down. I'm just bringing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, potentially two dwellings down. Now I'm not going to accept any more leech. Yeah, so forming this last town is extremely important, looking at the scores. And I can get potentially another two dwellings down. I believe I have seven on the board at the moment. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, of course, I do. So I can get one more dwelling down. Okay, so convert into three. And build a trading house here. That way, yeah. I can get one power in the uh, darkling build here, and I can get the town. Go for the power, which will give me more coins. Maybe another trading post, and yeah, eight, three, six, seven, eight, five. Yeah, that's good. Another trading post and a dwelling would be useful. Okay. Do we not use conversions? 97 to 103. Ah, yeah, don't forget to upgrade the shipping. That would be awful if I didn't do that. Maybe I can get a leech. No. Okay, so I have one, two, three trading posts on the board. Another trading post would be good. But I'll do the shipping next because that's an absolute necessity. But I'd rather, yeah. Trading post is worth three points to me. But minus the resources, it's barely worth it. And probably better to think about network. But network, let's look at the others. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve for the witches. They're going to be 13, surely. Final four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, it's going to go to fourteen. 
if I put another one down. So let's do the shipping now. Or, yeah, and that leaves me resources left for one drone. So shipping. So I have to convert. Or, and shipping. Let's go up to two, which is what I need. Okay, so it's going to be expensive for witches to complete their town. Do they have air too? Probably, yes, they do. So, oh, they've done it. Very expensive. So which is have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, maybe I can beat the witches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, not easy day. So let's get another drain down here. Uh, wait a minute, so conversion. And conversion now. One more drone down here. So I think I'm up to 14 structures. Do witches have, yeah, they have Earth One and they have their, so witches can take it. Witches don't have. Um, a bonus a scoring bonus, so that's an advantage. Do they have air one? No, so I'm going to get um, maybe nine points here extra, but which is still have resources. I have one, I have all my dwellings down, so there's no way I'm going to do anything else. Okay, which is now should be up to 13 by the look of it, but they do they haven't upgraded their digs? No, they haven't. That's a benefit. Where else can they go? They can go down here. Going down there would give me a point, but uh, take away points for the network. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so finished. Confirm. Hundred and eleven. I could just sneak it from the witches, actually. Um, witches are not strong in the cults. They've won one, come second in one. Basically, the same as me. Cultists have no network, but they've won two cults. I come second in two cults, so cultists are strong. What else do they have? Nothing else. 
percent. They're going to build a trading post now. I'll get a few points for that. Okay, do the witches only have one shipping? Yes. So that's kind of prevents them coming down here. So they've got to do. So that might be very difficult for the witches to. Oh, they have dug. Oh, well, the witch has made a mistake there. So he can't join me for the network. So that pretty much, I think, could hand the game to me. And if I win the Nomads, I'm very pleased, actually. Because he doesn't have any dwellings to put down. He's got to build a trading post, and that will use his last two workers. So. So scores are close, but uh, I think I've got the edge with the network. So he's gone for his trading post. And I think he's used his, yeah, he's used his stronghold bonus. 104, 142. Oh, they got six points. 141, I've won it by a couple of points. I'm pleased with that. Uh, that's one of my best scores with the Nomads, uh, just on the base game like this. 143 to 141. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so uh, I win Nomads 143, second place 141. That was the uh, 141 was the cultist. Third place, which is 133, and then Darkling 72 didn't play too well. But uh, okay, I hope you enjoyed that, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.